My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Okay, this car is probably going to be sold before I'm done with my introduction. A uh, freaking hot 69 Camaro RSSS got a $16,000 built 400 small block custom suspension and brakes and exhaust. Got a five speed houndstooth seats. This thing is decked out. This is hot. It will sell quick. You can go to volocars.com and that's where you can see our inventory, all of our current inventory. And that's where you'll find price tags on every one of the cars complete descriptions and photos top to bottom if you go to volocars.com. If you do enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the videos go live. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Okay, underneath the car, it's a subframe. Subframe was dropped out. Everything was removed from the bottom of the car. All clean metal, painted a gloss black. The floor pans are beautiful. Uh, upgraded suspension. Up front's got tubular, fat tubular control arms. All rebuilt. Ball joints, bushings, you name it. The steering. Uh, it's got a fat sway bar. Has QA1 gas shocks all the way around. Has a fat sway bar in back. Uh, upgraded disc brakes at all four wheels. Drilled and slotted rotors, red calipers. E-brake systems hooked up, brake lines, fuel lines, it's all been replaced. Uh, it's got a new fuel tank, it's shiny, it's polished. Uh, uh, the sending unit, of course, is replaced. Got a nice three inch exhaust that goes all the way out the back. It's not hanging down, it has nice turned down tips. They're hidden up behind there. You'll hear it towards the end of the video. But it's three inch stainless steel, has an X pipe in the middle, Magnaflow mufflers. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's spotless. It's only 600 miles on the car since it's been done. It uh, has an extra capacity oil pan, has a high torque starter. It's got a five speed transmission in there, only 600 miles on the transmission. Uh, 10 bolt rear end has a chrome cover on it. Uh, so everything under the car is redone and upgraded. Now the body. Uh, of course, it's got spoilers, it's got a cowl hood. Let's see how good it is. This is all straight and it all fits nice. I see no issues with the body, no damage. Looking down the car, it's absolutely straight. I don't see any problem areas. Car is obviously lowered. It's all clean metal. Just the start of a tiny bubble down there at the bottom corner. I wouldn't even call it a bubble yet, just a little, little bump. This is all nice and clean. This line right here is clean, smooth down here. The roof is in excellent shape. You know, this can be a problem area, but I don't see any issues. Doors fit real nice. Trunk fits nice, no issues. Yeah, this is all real good. This side's looking real good too. The paint, it's like a garnet red. The paint's beautiful. It's probably equivalent to what it would have been like new. Uh, so there's a little bit of dust, a little bit of texture. Uh, again, gorgeous paint job. If you're a fanatic, you may not may want to have it wet sand and buffed one more time to make it like glass, but I think the paint's gorgeous. The stripes uh, look like they're painted on. The hockey stick stripes, they got them right. So as it comes around, you might have noticed it's a red bumper. That's not a chrome bumper painted red. This is the optional Endura bumper. It's actually a, like a rubber and it's red. And everything up here looks real nice. The spoiler, the lenses, the grill, the emblems. You'll see at the end of the video, I drive the car out of here and the headlights open and close real fast. Uh, these were originally vacuum and they didn't work well. This has an electric motor conversion on those headlight doors. New emblems, marker lights, moldings, emblems. Windshield is real nice and clear. All the stainless trim is all very good. The mirrors, door handles have been replaced. 
It has the exterior trim package. That's the louvers, the gutters, and the wheel well moldings. In back, the bumper, bumper guards, emblems, that's all been replaced. Rear windows in real nice shape. The wheels, US mags, they're 18s in front, 20s in back, gives it that nice stance, uh, nice and wide. You got performance tires on them. So yeah, this thing's a looker. I think that wraps up the outside. The rally sports, the reverse lights are down here instead of up here as part of the rally sport package. But yeah, let's check out the inside. I still got a lot more good stuff to show you. All right, let's see what the trunk looks like. I've never opened it, so I hope I'm not embarrassed. There we go. We got the rubber floor mats here, the reproduction Chevy mats, a bazooka subwoofer, uh, carpeted mat, and it is, is made for this car with nice sewn edges. It, it's custom cut, fits in here nice. And then clean solid metal that's been spatter painted. The jam under the trunk lid are nice. Weather strip is real nice. Uh, it paint's a little dry, like right in here. Where it's not real shiny. My dad is always after me to buy sexy cars. That's what he keeps saying, and he's seen this. He's like, that's what I'm talking about, Jay. Door jams painted nice. Weather strips are replaced. Uh, looks like they replaced the door panels, armrests, window cranks. Okay, all this looks new. The vents, the knobs, the instrument bezels. You can see all the chrome. Uh, edges are all nice and sparkly. The dash pad is new and it fits right. Uh, so we have a working clock as quartz movement. You have the factory tachometer. Looks like the heater controls are new. You got a Pioneer stereo. This is painted nicely. Light works. The new liner. Uh, you got the factory gauges and the console. Uh, it, it is a five speed, so don't look at the four speed here. You got to look at the ball when you're shifting. Uh, we got the factory seat belts. Now the seats have been rebuilt. They're nice and firm. The spring, the cushions, all real good. And it is the houndstooth, which is really sharp. Back of the seats, nice. Carpets are. Uh, new, the light works at the back of the console. So back seats upholstered, side panels are redone. The rear window uh, shelf back there is all real nice, all the trim. Headliners, excellent, light works, visors are new. Uh, should mention too, it has a Rosewood Deluxe wheel on a tilt column. So it has a few options in here, the gauges and the wheel and the console and the clock. The guy I bought it from, he says he has like $16,248 in this motor. It's a built 400 small block. Uh, it sounds very healthy. Uh, so what do we got on top here? It's got a big dual feed Holly carburetor. Uh, it's an aluminum intake painted orange just so it blends in. I love the cast aluminum valve covers. Got a nice set of coated headers, MSD ignition system. The upper uh, control arms, you can see they're tubular. Got an aluminum radiator. You got a battery, Delco battery topper with a disconnect. You got the etched Camaro uh, filler panel. Um, front of the motor is chrome, the alternator, the water pump, the pulleys, the power steering. Stainless upper hose. It has uh, power steering and power brakes. Power brake system looks new. So pretty clean uh, motor compartment here.
the heads on the motor are aluminum too. I think they're just painted orange. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. I mean, just look at the car. I don't have to say anything else. Just look for yourself. This thing's going to turn heads. People are going to wish they had it. They're going to wish they were you. So you can be that person. You can go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman, ask them whatever questions you have. They can help get this delivered to your door. They'll help you finance it at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. That way you're notified as the videos are posted. Thanks for watching.